Cremona is the birthplace for such beautiful instruments as you can see here. For example, Stradivari, Amati, Guarneri del Gesù. And today is a very special day because I get to play some of the most gorgeous and beautiful instruments um, from the museum, partly from friends of Stradivari Society. And I'm very, very honored and very happy to explain maybe a little bit about the instruments play and also tell you uh, what's special or specific about the sound. Um, there are two beautiful uh, Guarneri del Jesus here. Um, he built much less instruments than Stradivari because he was basically uh, not having um, so, uh, no assistance actually at all. His father helped him uh, during his lifetime, but Stradivari was working with his sons, so they were preparing a lot, so the output was also much bigger. But uh, I think there are about 180 Guarneri del Jesus in existence. And I'm very happy to have two of them to, today here in Cremona. This is the Prince Doria from Adjust yourself also to the instrument, so it's um, it's cool. of course you know fun to do it, but in order to really do them justice, I wouldn't be play a little longer on them. But Prince Doria, 1734, great song, uh, Guarneri del Gesù, really really great song in del Gesù. And um, what I love is the, the brightness, but also it's, it's kind of weird to say also bright and dark, but it's. It's very easy to play, meaning that, uh, you know, if you're... It really works immediately. You don't have to, like, force anything on it. So... Great color scheme. And you can lilt it, as my teacher would say. What I love about Del Gesù the most, you can play literally here. Range is, is beautiful with this one. Mm -hmm. I think so. 
So, we have the pleasure to also play another uh, Grenier de Agizu, also from 1734. It's called the uh, Staufer. Let me just tune it quickly. Let's have a little comparison between two of them. Stradivari model compared to a couple of years later where you see the more typical Guarneri model. So very stiff, almost upright, I like to call them kind of gothic looking apples. It has a different sound than those two. They are more on the bright side. This one is more I think robust and but definitely with lots of power. Which is a little bit also a dryness in the Guarneri. Mm -hmm. 